Hi there, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collections. Thank you so much for joining me. We are going to talk to you, Taurus, today about mid-July, what is going on uh, in your world. Uh, Pre-shuffle, pre-prayer, pre-download. I picked up on that comment the, the energy of the comet pretty strongly. It's called Neo Wise. And for my Matrix fans, yes, Neo Wise. I said it. Um, that is going to be the bringer of change. Virgo is going to have a very important role to play in that. So if you have anybody in your life that is a Virgo, uh, expect to see major changes happening with them and you given the fact that you are um, you know an earth sign as well you will also have a part in it too Taurus victory just hopped out of the deck here for you ace of Pentacles new beginnings victory with new beginnings there's a lot of success here it took a while you're being celebrated and honored mm -hmm. the world card that's funny because that's what I said you know you guys are moving in to new beginnings especially with the comet the bringer of the comet uh, a whole new cycle is getting ready to begin here You've received an offer. You successfully accomplished something. I'm looking at the laurel wreath here. It's actually on his particular wand. Everyone else behind you except for one person has leaves. And, and this is talking to me about abundance. It's talking to me about the opportunity that has come for you. It, what's so crazy is out of the five people that are behind you, right? One person doesn't have these leaves, but there's one person that has extra leaves and enough leaves for this person who's really, you know, kind of like whatever. I'm, I'm almost picking up on a, um, yeah, see, there's a lot of people that are proud of you. These, these leaves are of abundance. Look, Queen of Pentacles. This is of abundance, a victory coming very quickly here. Uh, it may even be regarding a move, of course. The world card is, talks about travel. This could be something fixed, some sort of permanent change coming to life. Tell me about Taurus's other person, please. Aren't you excited for your new opportunity? Mm. Your other person is in Virgo energy. Very interesting. Nine of Pentacles. Abundance. Very well taken care of. I'm thinking manicured. Someone here is manicured. The moon, but the wheel of fortune. So destiny has stepped in here. Your other person, see I'm thinking about this single energy here. Sorry guys, it was my cell phone. I guess I probably should turn the ringer off. Huh? I will, just a second. Let's get one more card out here. Uh, Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Uh, slow moving offer, text messages, communication, offers of love, regret. Please, let's work something out. Uh, you make me happy. I, I, I know my truth. The other person could have been single. You know, I, I almost feel as if... Let me turn this ringer off. Uh, I almost feel as if, Taurus, you may have... An opportunity to move forward in life and your other person now regrets acting single not making the move and this is just a, a, abrupt it's like abrupt changes okay yeah they're coming in with an offer of love though um <laughs> like I said though I, I mean Taurus you feel victorious when it comes to something this could be an offer of marriage I feel like their abundance though there's some deception behind your other person's abundance here there's some pain and heartache mm -hmm. 
hermit energy. Somebody's by themselves. Your other person is by themselves. Yeah, judgment is coming in. Manifestation. Somebody's taking the money and moving on here. Yeah, this is the choice that's being made. Gemini energy. Yeah, I, I feel like there was betrayal here. There was betrayal in the relationship uh, with a third party. Yeah, three of swords here. I just saw three of cups. I didn't say that to you, sorry. Deception. Moon energy. You guys are getting this on the new moon. Your new opportunity. Oh, get this. And I love this for you, Taurus, okay? And I just, as soon as I laid it down, I saw it. Your opportunities are there for you. They are in your higher purpose. It's meant for you for this new cycle, this new abundance to come in, okay? You are a blessed individual. I'm looking at these flowers, and it's like your energy is pure. You you need that sunlight, okay? You need to stay in the sunlight. Um, you need growth. You need change. Someone needed to hear that. I don't know if you're doubting something here. I don't see much doubt, but you are going to have to fight for what it is that you want. There's multiple stories here, but someone in, in particular, if you are unsure about this opportunity, please fight for it. Take, listen, Seven of Swords is not always deception, depending on what we're looking at here. There's somebody here. There's somebody here. moving why I don't know why you think moving forward is going to cause a block here you need to you need to work on the truth but that's for like a few of you okay maybe even someone in particular for the rest of you guys there's deception here that seven of swords that came out I saw that <laughs> seven of swords here this and it was really it would have been a reflection here uh, to talk about you know the deception that's coming from someone the moon will light up. I know there's a new moon, so it's dark moon right now. You you presently might be in confusion because of delusion, because of betrayal, because of... Oh yeah, this is betrayal. It's heavy betrayal, is that? Yes, Empress. And you know, the first thing I thought of was pregnancy. Mm-hmm. First thing I thought of was pregnancy here. There, there's multiple stories. Okay, Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. I. All right. There's a cheating story here, and there's a story of abundance and someone who takes the opportunity and runs for the mountains here, or has the opportunity to go to on to a new challenge a new be belief system a new uh opportunity i'm hearing job opportunity travel across country um you take a, a a plane and your other stuff your household goods get shipped type situation okay don't forget to ask for reimbursement for travel and relocation expenses some of you may not know to do that See if it's a part of the deal, okay? Um, for the rest of you, there is someone here that is carrying on with another person. Uh, I do feel that there could be confrontation coming in because of um, the, the abundance. There is an abundance here. It is a feminine energy. Uh, broken hearted. Broken hearted. Why so broken hearted? Conflict. I, it could be as deep as mommy issues, Taurus. It, it could be. Um, but really, I mean, this is your energy. So embracing it and really understanding the truth about who you are is the energy that I would rather claim with this new moon cycle. Planting your seeds so that you can grow your abundance. There's a, there's, you know, I feel like Mm. 
someone is really being deceived here by their other person when it comes to what it is that they're truly offering. You need to understand that this offer is peanuts. I know I'm bouncing back and forth, guys, but it's just, it's a vibe. So you might be dealing with more than one feminine here, or you're just a really busy person. I mean, you know, it, it's, it, and if this is all you, you've been single for a while, um, you really don't look at love in the same way that you used to. You know, you, you think that marriage is, is like a, a fight or something. Mm hmm you know, I see that you're kind of happy just being the boyfriend not getting remarried being the girlfriend not getting remarried you know yeah <laughs> and it could have been because of a divorce here you know there could be a divorce going on right now some of the things that we've all talked about in this scenario are going on in that divorce Taurus, you might be walking into some money with this divorce. Definitely some karmic scales being balanced here. Somebody's going to be paying somebody some money trying to work this out. I, I saw happiness here. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel like there still could be conversation that happens because of the kids. There's so many of you here. Wow, I like how these energies are, are kind of playing out. Please take it as it resonates, okay? Tell me about this world card for Taurus, please. I love it. Oh, and I knew it. I already love it because before it even hit the desk. Yeah, I told you. You guys have so much opportunity. You're going to come out on top here. This Knight of Rods energy, you are taking passionate action. Look, your other person is offering emotion. You're offering action because your wish is to take action towards an ending here and a new beginning transformation restarting regrowing something you know in this deck I will tell you though that death you cannot ignore the emptiness in this these eyes here you can't ignore it there's a loss a major loss of a friendship here you know it's, it's almost like one of you or both of you within the relationship, Taurus, um, you're, you're really trying your best to work. I heard I wasn't supposed to shuffle that. I know. I just, there, there's a delay, okay? And I think it's because someone's in their emotions, wants to hold on, and someone else is ready to go. Taurus, I think that's you. Okay, could be a lot of fighting. There's a mother energy here. Tell me about Empress energy. Tell me about Taurus's energy. I already know you're coming out on top. You're planting new seeds. See, God's got your back. God's got your back because of the deception, because of the heartbreak that was caused. And the heartbreak, there's still more heartbreak to come, okay? And I, I, I feel a lot of the heartbreak is going to come when you stand in your power. Remember that Seven of Swords we saw? Standing in your power and saying, hey, you, you took what was rightfully mine, and now I'm taking it back. I'm, I'm doing what I need to do. See, this is going with me. I'm, I'm leaving. This person is still trying to leave in the same direction that you are, but they're looking, they're, they're now seeing what has happened here and transpired in the past and looking forward in a new emotional state. I'm wondering here if Spirit is saying, why don't you try to blend this together? Strength. Empress and strength. No. Bottom of the deck. Empress and temperance with strength at the bottom of the deck. Taurus, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could have a Leo energy. Oh. interesting you're trying your best not to rock the boat here with another person Sagittarius um, with a with a new love relationship until you yeah even your lawyer is saying hey don't do that right now 
Seriously. Mm hmm But anyway, Spirit's here with you. They're here for you, with you with the long term. They want you to know things are going to manifest the way that you need them to manifest. Um, there's a blessing coming. There's definitely a blessing coming. I, I feel like if there was some of you that wanted to cause pain and conflict over money in some sort of divorce, you did it. You accomplished it. This person is, yeah, this person is like, what? Okay, but that's because they were cheating. Their ego kept them single. There was third party drama going on here and you moved away from it. You know, you're like, wait a minute, I thought this was marriage. It, it, this is nothing but fighting and bickering and arguing, you know, and spirit came in and said, you know what? We watched this for way too long. Mm -hmm. Look, be on the defense because we're working on something to get you out of there. Tower moment. Be on the defense. You know, I feel like this is a warning as well because this other person is heartbroken and wants to argue with you. But you're over here like, no, just go ahead and, you know, I'll text you. Or you text me about your love. Keep doing that while I move forward and get my money. And right here, all this confusion that you caused, you sit with that by yourself. Okay? And you're, you know, you have to do it your way. Okay. And that's what I pick up with that Virgo energy. You want to juggle? Okay. But now, Spirit says, I don't have to do this anymore. Look at this. Spirit said they've been watching for a long time. They've been watching me. They see that I'm a peaceful person. And they're going to help me. This tower moment is, is not a negative. This tower moment is actually coming from spirit to blend the situation together. Now remember, if you're manifesting during this new moon, be careful what you ask for. You know, the way you word it could mean a whole nother thing. I had a teacher teach me once. You know, they say the proof was in the pudding, but wait a minute, what about the taste of the pudding. You didn't say anything about the taste. The, the whole different aspect. Right? So think about what it is that you're talking and asking about when you get that, that star energy. You had the star energy. You're wishing on something. Make sure you're, you got some integrity going on, okay? Man, your other person is devastated, by the way. Devastated. To total come to judgment about the drama he caused within the relationship. And I'm picking up on Divine Masculine. Okay, could be either way around, but I am picking up on Masculine. Um, so with that being said, that that's pretty deep. Um, I will do a metaphysical <clears throat> card real quick. Mm. Tower moment. Just got knocked to the side with Amethyst. So when I, you know, Amethyst is, is a pure very pure healing substance um, put placed here by God on this earth for us to you know just kind of heal with if you place your hand over amethyst it's very healing as a matter of fact I think I made a grid because of all of the devil energy that I've been picking up on um, just kind of coming with this new moon this second half uh, the grid actually has a piece of amethyst on top of tree agate that's another thing that you guys probably would need to know and then this one in the corner this one right here that's peacock ore this is for light light happy abundant energy okay so keep you lighthearted especially with with all this drama because i really feel like you have someone who still hasn't learned their lesson they're still in page mode you could have been married to them but yeah all right celestite um, this is to me angelic in a way. This is angelic energy. Like I said, uh, spirit is here with you. Tiger eye. They want you to get moving. 56, 11. Again, angelic message. A tiger eye is get to it, get it done. All right. See how it's in the shape of a pyramid? Pyramid, um, the sands of time. Oh, the Sahara Desert. Remember we talked about that at the beginning of July? The Sahara Desert. What's under here? 
Yeah, the juggling. Going back and forth. You need to move on with your life. Celestite is 15. So with that, it talks about connection to the angelic realm and divine energy. Clear channels for communication with your guides and universal conscious. See, told you. Angel guides down here. They want you to be on the defense because they're getting ready to come in and wreak havoc for you. For you to give you this opportunity that you see. It's time for you to boop, boop, walk through this door. Come on, walk through the door. Yeah, but listen, this moon card, I feel like there's something up that sleeve. So, GEC Empress Collection. Dot Etsy com if you'd like a personal reading or any of the other supplies we have listed on the website. We appreciate you guys uh, with all the likes, shares, and subscribes too. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the other side. Peace and elbow grease.